here welcome back to the channel uh, today we're going to be looking over the new furniture items and uh, fragment items that you can craft in uh, Dreamlight Valley with the recent uh, Rift in Time update uh, so these are the new fragment pieces that you can collect if you upgrade your hourglass to level four i must stress that you do have to upgrade to level four first do not do like i did search for hours trying to find pieces and then realizing you needed to upgrade your hourglass first you you do need to do that <laughs> you do need to do that first um but let's have a look at some of the furniture pieces first so we first of all get this like kind of like cog shaped table and this kind of like cog shaped chair I do think this is a cute little piece. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether I can sit on it. It wasn't giving me... Oh, there we go. I think I just needed to pull it out a bit. So yeah, this is kind of cute. If you're into like steampunk kind of vibes, I think this set is going to be so good. We then also have this bookcase set, which I absolutely love. I think this is so, so cute. And then we also have this sink set, which uh, looks like you can turn on. There's like a little light on there, so that's quite cool. Um, there are some more furniture pieces, but I do have to go indoors for them. So I will go inside my house a bit later on and do all the interior items. I do think this is a cute set. You can put something on the uh, table here. Um, you can't tuck the chair underneath it fully. So it does kind of like stick out a little bit here. If that's kind of like clear to you, hopefully it is. Um, I do like the sink piece. I think that's cute. And I do love the bookcase. I think the bookcase is going to be nice for decorating with. Um, but I don't see us using the sink much, if I'm honest. Other than if I somehow build another bathroom. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I'm going to use it much. Now the fragment pieces that you can get our first one is king triton's throne um i like this i think this is a really really cool piece and what i love is like the bubbles here the first thing i thought like i i'd seen this in cole's valley um before i crafted it and the first thing i said was oh my god you could like do you like some visual tricks with the bubbles here? Like if you angle your camera off to the side, you could certainly get those going in. So if we had like another under the sea dream snap, this would be like so cool to use, I think personally. Um, I think I took a bunch of photos. Like I, I don't remember if I did spam them through to call or not. I did send some through, but I don't think I sent all the photos I spammed. Um, but yeah, it's a cool piece. It's a very, very good size as well for something that I would expect of King Triton's throne. This is really good. I mean, it's a shame that in some ways we can't sit on it. But that being said, I think for how it is in the movie, for how King Triton sits on it and stuff like that, this is such a good item. Um, our next piece is the uh, fragment we get with the lollipops and we get this starting uh, line uh, for Vanellope's racetrack. I absolutely love this. I love that it has the candy floor there. So if you did want to like do a candy racetrack, you can do and use the candy flooring to go alongside with it. It is quite big so it does mean that if you do a racetrack it's going to be a hefty size <laughs> um but i am actually thinking of using this in eternity isle with my theme park build i've decided to move vanellope into my theme park and have like a a racetrack kind of vibe like i think of like when i was younger and i used to go to Wixty Park and they used to have like a little go-kart track I'm kind of visualizing Penelope's house and like racetrack as that kind of vibe I do love this piece I think it's so good it does remind me of the one in the film I assume that's what it's based off of um it again like a decent size it's a really good size piece but it might be a bit big if you only have a smaller racetrack our next item here is the Toontown fire engine. 
I love this. This is going to be so great. If anyone does like kind of like city core builds or like a, a city core kind of like plaza or main street, um, this is going to be so good for like decorating and sort of leaving um, on like a road or path. This requires the tunish canisters to craft. Um, but I do, I love this piece. I do kind of wish I could sit in it. Like if we could like interact with it somehow, I would love that. But for now, it's just like a car on display. Um, then we have the Ratatouille Metro entrance. For this, you need the like um, the sign fragment pieces. I think this is really cute. Um, I do wish we maybe had some furniture to kind of match with it, like maybe some lamp posts or some fencing in a similar kind of tone and colour. I think that would be really, really good. But I think there's a lot of creative ways this could be used, certainly even as like just like a gazebo or something like that. If you didn't want the ratatouille part, looking at it from the back here is also quite nice. Like I love this little arch shape and everything like that. So so um, I think it's going to be fun seeing how people decorate with this item because it is a very, very kind of like cute piece. And I think, again, it's like a reasonable size for what it is. Now let's go indoors and check out some of the other pieces that you can um, craft and use uh, in this game. Okay, and now we're indoors, let's take a look at these last items. So these ones don't require the fragment pieces. This is like the shower setup and this is like a towel rack. Um, I do think these are kind of cute actually, like... It's really weird because it's not like an aesthetic I would ever think to want or use, but I think it's kind of cute. I wonder if there's going to be like different ways you could use this as like wall divides maybe or something. Like I was just noticing the kind of like the vines on it you see. So I wondered if it would like provide like a nice wall backdrop or something. I'm not too sure. Let me know if you have any creative ideas for ways you can use this. Um, let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to like test them out. Um, we do have the towel rack, which is again, kind of like a cute piece. Um, I don't think I will use it very much because it is quite specifically for a bathroom, um, especially with the hanging towels on it, so. Next up we have Isabella's bed, which this is beautiful. This is actually, I think, prettier in game than it was in the trailer. I don't know why, it's just something about the colors. I think they look so good. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this piece. I think this is a gorgeous little bed. Um, I Yeah, I just love it. I don't know if like, let's turn it around like, Maybe it might produce, like, depending on the room setup you had, whether it provides, like, a nice backdrop for, like, a like a headboard kind of section or, like, a wall set. I don't know. I just, I try and think of, like, creative ways you can use these items without, like, using them as intended and stuff like that. Like, it's cute. It looks cute. Um, and next up, we have this, uh, like, stained glass, uh, I don't want to call it a window because it's not exactly a window. So, oh, by the way, this one requires the like pink cushion fragments. Uh, this one requires like the stained glass fragment. So the reason why I say it's not really like a window is because when you come through and look from behind, this is kind of like the outline you get and you don't get the like the sun rays reflecting the glass shape, which with a lot of traditional like windows, when you put them on the wall, they give like a shadow. I'm trying to see if I can find... Oh, there we go. See, you see how I've put this on the wall and we get this like square of light reflecting the sun coming through? You don't get it with this piece. So this is more like a wall art piece. Um, I do think it's beautiful though. I think this is gorgeous. I think this is absolutely stunning. Um, so I am a big fan of this piece. I love it. Obviously the Beauty and the Beast vibes. I Yeah, I just think this is a really, really nice piece. Um, and certainly something that I'd love to use in like a Beauty and the Beast build sometime. Um, for sure. So 
let me know in the comments down below which of these fragment pieces is your favorite which i am cut like are you excited to create a little heads up i do want to provide for people i do have spares of all of these fragment pieces so if there's something you want to craft and you can't because you don't have the pieces join my discord drop me a message just say hey I need some tunish canisters or hey I need some of the pink pillows can anyone help me out Tani can you help me and I will come round I will drop off some pieces for you and then you can craft them so for anyone that does want to like get these fragment pieces faster if you're struggling to get them in your valley just join my discord ask away and I'm more than happy to help out if there's any resources that I have that I can provide for people, I will do so. Now, obviously, I'm not available every day, like 24 hours. So if I don't get to a request straight away, it's probably because I'm sleeping or maybe at a course or something like that. But I promise you, if I see that you need something and I can provide it, I will get around to helping you out. No problem at all. Um... So yeah, let me know what you thought of these fragment pieces down below. As I said, if you do want to craft any of them, but you're struggling to get the fragments, just let me know and I will come and I will help you out. Um, but I love these and uh, yeah, I'm excited to hear your thoughts on them. Um, but yeah, I will wrap up the video here and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!